Hey, today I want to share with you my experience of the best cloud storage provider. It provides a huge amount of online storage at an incredibly low cost. I have been working with this site for over seven years. In this short video, I will tell you a few secrets that will be very useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it. Now we are starting. Acronis True Image is an easy to use and reliable online backup solution for protecting files and disk images in the cloud. The service offers a host of useful features, including full disk backup, version management, file sharing, and folder synchronization. Acronis offers both subscription and perpetual True Image licenses. You can try Acronis True Image for 30 days without having to provide payment information, which is nice. Mobile devices are also disregarded when limiting the number of devices by the plans that support them. The Acronis Essential tier costs $49.99 per year per device. With this tier, you get all local backup options and protection against Acronis ransomware. To protect three or five devices, you have to pay $79.99 or $99.99 per year, respectively. An extended subscription starts at $89.99 per year. It includes the same feature as the Essential Plan, as well as 500 gigabytes of online cloud storage to back up one computer. You can upgrade the number of licenses you get for this plan, but not the amount of storage. This tier also includes the Acronis Security Software Package. The Premium tier starts at $124.99 per year for 1TB of online storage for a single computer. You can also upgrade this plan by adding more computers or more storage. For example, a 5TB plan will support for 5 computers and it costs $369.99 per year. Additional features at this tier include blockchain-based file certification and the ability to sign documents. Acronis True Image is available for Windows, MacOS, Android and iOS, but not for Linux devices. You can cancel your web portal account by opting out of auto-renewal fees or by submitting a support ticket. Acronis says it uses end-to-end -end encryption to protect your files and that it's designed so that the company doesn't know about the contents of your backups. Users can set up a local encryption key that is also never sent to Acronis for each backup set. Acronis data centers are physically secure and can continue to operate in the event of a power outage for 48 hours. Acronis Privacy Policy states that it collects personal information that you provide and data about your usage. This data is used to support your account, communicate with you, and improve and customize its services. Acronis says that it shares this data with vendors and resellers and will share this information with law enforcement officials if there is a legitimate reason. The Acronis installer is large, over 800 megabytes, and takes a few minutes to complete. The install program takes up almost a full gigabyte of space. After installation, you need to log in to your Acronis account or create a new one. The True Image interface is simple, with seven flat tabs along with the left-hand guide and large, clearly labeled buttons for various tasks. To set up a backup, you first need to decide whether you want to protect your entire hard drive or just specific folders and files. Acronis True Image displays the entire hard disk in its interface. To select a disk, file or folder to backup, simply select the checkbox next to it. Acronis True Image integrates with Windows Explorer, so you can right-click to add files to the backup or create links for sharing. 
The next step is to select a destination. The most obvious choice is Ekranis Cloud, but you can also choose an external drive or a local folder. In fact, the Ekranis True Image online backup program is identical to the local True Image backup program, except for the online backup option. Ekranis True Image does not allow you to specify local and online targets at the same time. However, after you perform a full PC or disk partition backup to a local destination, you can configure a Chronos True Image to simultaneously load a replica of that backup to the cloud on subsequent runs. A Chronos claims that this is faster than running two separate backup tasks. After selecting a source and target, simply click the green Backup Now button or postpone it until a specified time. You can also choose a backup schedule such as daily, weekly, monthly or continuous backups before starting the process. When you use the continuous option, the software detects file updates and downloads them automatically. You can create as many continuous backup tasks as you want, except for those that use the whole computer option as their source. Under Advanced Options, you can change the number of file versions you store, create a local encryption key and set the download speed and system priority levels for the operation. You can even tell Acronis to store the backup in a specific data center located around the world and to delete versions of files that are older than a certain number of months. Acronis True Image can also be set to shut down your computer after the backup is complete. The Archive tab of Acronis analyzes your folders for unused or particularly large files and uploads them to an external disk or cloud storage. This removes the file from the local storage. You can set it automatically, view your files or select files individually. In addition, like the Backup tab, it allows you to encrypt the specified data or choose which data center to use. These archives are accessible through the Explorer or the Acronis web interface. There is also a sync feature that keeps the folder accessible and up-to-date on all devices. In the desktop application, the Sync tab allows you to create a default folder for use with cloud storage or only between several selected computers with the option to add Cloud Sync later. Files and folders are also accessible from the Acronis web interface and mobile applications. Acronis True Image provides simple restore options for each of the backup tasks you set up. You simply select a backup task, click the Restore tab, select some or all of those files and then click Continue. On the Advanced Options tab, you can tell Acronis to restart a computer after the recovery is complete, override existing files on the local disk and control the priority of the task for your computer's resources. Recovering a full hard drive with Acronis is just as easy, although the process obviously takes longer. It's sort of like the Windows System Restore feature, except that the data to be restored is in the cloud. You can also recover files via a web client. Unfortunately, the program doesn't display an advanced tree view of your folders. Instead, you have to navigate down each level of your hard drive's folder structure to get to the file you want. This can be a slow process. After selecting a folder to restore, Acronis sends you a zip archive as standard. The Acronis website looks great and is mostly easy to use. However, it is a bit awkward to navigate and the features are spread out over several different interfaces. When you log into your online account, the first page you see is the Acronis account page, where you can manage product subscriptions, edit your personal information, manage email subscription settings, and access support options. Acronis True Image does not support two-factor authentication for account login, which we prefer to see in any product that deals with potentially sensitive data. To dive into the web features, you need to click the Control Panel button 
on the product and then select the Acronis True Image Portal or File Sync and Share. Select the first option to view your backup data. The Resources tab on the left allows you to configure and run any of your existing backup tasks remotely. This feature will work great in testing this time, although the process seems to be slower than just running a backup task from the desktop software. If you click any of the sidebar items, Acronis opens another new tab with access to these collections. In addition to viewing these repositories, you can also share files from this section by clicking the gear icon and selecting the copy URL option. You can manage your shared files through the Share menu item on the left menu. Finally, Acronis has added the ability to password protect shared URLs, as well as setting an expiration date and a download limit. In addition, Acronis allows you to share a file from your desktop using the right-click context menu in Windows Explorer. Acronis True Image adds full-scale malware protection to its range of backup and synchronization capabilities. Although malware protection is not the main focus of this product, it promises real-time protection against malware, including never-before-seen threats. You access all the security features through the Protection section on the left-hand menu. This page offers brief statistics on recent antivirus activity and allows you to verify that all components of active protection are active. You can run a full antivirus scan or just a quick one-click scan. Vulnerability assessment helps you avoid vulnerabilities due to a lack of security patches. Phishing sites do not use unusual malware to trick the operating system. Instead, they aim to fool you, the user. A phishing site looks almost exactly like a bank site, a gaming site, or any site that requires you to log in. If you don't notice the fake and log in, then you have given your account to the creators of the phishing page. Yes, if you're well trained and attentive, you can probably detect phishing scams, but everyone has a fuzzy day from time to time, like most antivirus tools. Acronis that is best to detect phishing scams, so you don't have to. Backups are the best defense against ransomware. Suppose a ransomware attack goes through your antivirus long enough to encrypt some files. After you've dealt with the malware, you simply restore those files from your backups. Without any effort on your part, Acronis checks your system for unprotected security holes. It doesn't make much noise about its findings. On the main protection page, there is a vulnerability assessment panel with a link to a list of detected vulnerabilities. For added assurance that your files will remain as they were when they were backed up, Acronis offers a notary function. To create a notarized backup, you start a new backup job on the source page and select Files to notarize. Then, select individual files or folders to treat and back them up to local or cloud storage. A notarized animation will appear with a check mark. After the backup, you can check the file and even see the official certificate that lists Acronis Notary as the assignee. Acronis claims that this is indisputable proof that no process or person has modified the file. We expect the courts will have to decide whether this is admissible evidence if you use it for legal purposes. Like a notary public, a sign allows multiple parties to digitally sign documents in your cloud storage. To use this feature, simply select Send to Sign on the Gear Settings icon next to the file entry in the web interface. You add the email addresses of the people you want to sign the documents. They get an email with a link to a secure page where they confirm their name and write in the signature box. When everyone has signed, you get an email confirming the document. This feature also uses blockchain technology to ensure that the recipient has not changed your document. 
Ecronis includes other tools such as Clone, which creates a copy of your disk to transfer to another computer. Bootable Media Wizard, try and decide, which lets you safely install the software you are not sure about, and the other tools for cleaning and restoring your system. Parallels Access, an add-on fee, allows you to access your PC from a remote mobile device with Parallels software. There is also a system cleanup tool, though we recommend checking out our review of the best setup utilities for more complete software. The app is available for both Android and iOS. There are currently four different Acronis apps listed in the Google Play Store, but the right app for personal accounts is called Acronis True Image Mobile. The app is divided into three sections – Backup, Overview and Settings. The Backup section is easy to use, but it uses an all-or-nothing principle. For example, you can specify which photos or videos you want to download – just all photos or all videos. Other types of data you can backup include contacts, calendars and messages. You can view any backups from your desktop devices in Browse and download any items to your device. However, there is no way to sort the files in this view, and you have to click each level of the backup file hierarchy to get to the files you want. This process is very slow. There are definite advantages to True Image's default full disk image backup. The service impresses with its intuitive interface, flexible backup settings, and additional security options such as ransomware protection and secure signature. However, its web and mobile applications have usability issues, and Acronis True Image was slow to load files in our backup tests.